All right, how's it going, guys? Mr. Null here, and uh, I just want to do a quick recap of what we did over this past week on our go live session uh, this past Wednesday. So basically, what we did is that we read this book called Louis, and it's based off of a certain author that you guys will probably know in a little bit. So, anyways, let's get this started. So this book's called Louis by Will Hildenbrand, and uh, basically what it is is that the author that made um, the whole series Madeline, uh, it's based off of that artist. Or sorry, it's but it's based off of that author in particular. Now, um, it's a good book at first. Um, it's not my favorite because it kind of moves kind of fast. The story does it kind of like jumps in time, but um, it's still a good book, and I like how. Uh, well, it's done art wise. So anyways, let's get going and uh, let's talk about what, what we're, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing uh, With that so here we go All right, Louie by Will Hillenbrand Ooh, That's kind of cool strong on the walls <laughs> Please don't do that. All right once upon a time there lived a little pig named Louie he loved warm sunny days, sticky mud, and lilting songbirds. Sorry, the lilting songs of birds and drawing. I never heard of that word before. <laughs> All right. He also loved the stories his mother would tell him of her own piglethood, how she had been small and a little mischievous. How she had been sent to an old schoolhouse in Paris that was covered in vines, where the girls walked in two straight lines. And looks like he drew it. Um, Louis would stay up late and draw parts of her story. Louis started school. While all of the other pigs worked on their lessons, Louis drew pictures of the things that made him happy. Soon, classmates giggled, calling Louis Potato Head. And I don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> French word. He was also miserable. He didn't even want to draw. So Louis was sent to another school. A school that promised to pass even the dullest of pigs. Louis tried. He read stories and answered the teacher's questions. But in the margins of his papers, he drew pictures of things that made him happy. The headmaster sent him home for good. Another French word I don't want to <laughs> mess up. Uh, desperate, uh, desperate. Louis's mother sent him to his uncle and aunt who owned a hotel. You'll help them, and they will help you, little Louis. His mother said hopefully. Welcome, Louis, said his uncle and aunt. They gave Louis a grand tour all around the hotel, ending at his little room. Louis went right to work, vacuuming, scrubbing dirty dishes, dusting, luggaging heavy bags, and drawing pictures on windows before washing them. On his birthday, Louis received a set of brightly colored crayons, sketching pencils, and a drawing journal from his aunt and uncle. Keeping his journal with him, now Louis drew and drew and drew until the journal was filled with sketches. One evening, an uppity odd-looking couple came to the hotel. Louis slipped behind a potted palm. Hmm, they would be fun to draw, thought Louis. Picking up a nearby menu, he drew on the back side of it. Unknowingly, the head waiter snatched the menus from Louis and handed them to the uppity odd-looking couple. Another <laughs> French word I don't want to pronounce. Uh, basically, an outrage, said the uppity old man. We'll sue, said the old woman. Louis knew he would be sent home once again. Waving drawings of the uppity couple, Louis's uncle and found oh, sorry, Louis's uncle and aunt found him packing his things. Wait, said his aunt, these drawings are good. My friend Vincent buys art for pigs all over the world, said his uncle. Unpack your things, Louis. My friend wants to look at all your drawings tomorrow. And yes, Vincent, who bought art for pigs all over the world, loved Louis's drawings. But he said, why not draw little pigs like yourself? Great idea, said Louis. That would definitely make him happy. Years have passed. Louis still worked at the hotel drawing pictures. He drew banker pigs, cook pigs, mama and papa pigs, 
Uncle Pigs and many, many little pigs. Some of his drawings of big and little pigs were so good, they were put on the covers of magazines. He met a fine lady, Miss May. She wore a very large hat and she was an editor. She made books for little piggies. I want to see every pig you've ever drawn, she declared. He showed her every picture he'd ever drawn in his journal, on menus, even on some drawings on his window blinds. He had run out of paper again. Miss May said, ooh la la, Louie, you should draw books for little piggies. Great idea, said Louie. He was happy just thinking about it. In the spring, when delivering a new drawing to a magazine company, Louie met a girl. Her name was Mimi, she, and she wanted to become a model. Oh, Mimi, Louie said, you are as pretty as a picture, and of course he meant it. They soon married right there in Paris. Tragically, on their honeymoon, while Louis and Mimi were bicycling, poor Louis was thrown from his bicycle by a speeding car. Louis, Mimi cried, my Louis! Louis was rushed to the hospital where he spent many days getting better. This is some honeymoon, Louis grumped. How he missed Mimi. While convulsing, convalesking, I don't know how to say that word, Louis heard something in the next room. It was a mischievous young girl who had just had her appendix removed. It's the girl, Louis said. It's the right girl. And he pulled out his journal and started to draw. The little girl reminded Louis of his mother and her stories of the Covenant School. The little beds all in a row, little girls all dressed alike, and the little girls smaller and more mischievous than the others. He started drawing, then writing in an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. He could hardly wait to show Mimi. Mimi loved it. Soon, the story was published in a book, a book by that very editor with the big hat. It brought joy to millions of little piggies. They loved the mischievous little girl and the beds and rows and how the girls walked in two straight lines. This launched Louis into a lifetime of success. He lived his remaining days making pictures and delighting little and medium sized and big piggies everywhere. And this made him very, very happy. As you can see, it's called Madeline. So that was the famous, uh, that was the famous artist, or sorry, that was the famous author that it's loosely based off of. And I thought it was really cool. So anyways, um, that's what I read to you guys on the recap. Or sorry, <laughs> that's what I read to you guys on Wednesday for the go live session. And I thought it was really cool. And based off of that, um, I just want you guys to be as creative as you could. And I asked them to do the same thing that uh, first, uh, sorry, kindergarten through fifth grade have been doing. And basically I want them to just join you guys, or sorry, all I want you guys to do is just be a community and try to draw uh, anything creative with sidewalk chalk on your driveways and on your uh, sidewalks. And uh, if you don't have those supplies, use a piece of paper and just draw on a piece of paper and <laughs> tape it to your window. Um, I, just, I, thought, I just thought it would be a really fun activity for the community to do. And uh, I've just been reading a different books every single grade. And uh, this one's loosely based on that, but not as much as the other ones. But um, I thought it was a good book regardless. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, that's basically it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>